Good afternoon. I am Councilmember Adrian Adams, and I will be chairing the Civil Service and Labor Committee for this hearing and vote as my colleague, Councilmember Miller, is unable to join us today. Today, we will be voting on intros 895, intro 895, and on two resolutions, Resos 190 and Reso 240. Intro number 895, introduced by Councilmember Miller, by request of the mayor, is a local law that would extend health insurance benefits to the surviving spouse and children of Department of Transportation electrician George Staub. Mr. Staub was killed while performing his job on the Hutchison River Parkway on April 4, 2018, when he was fatally struck by a car. Mr. Staub survived by his wife and seven children. While the law authorizes health insurance to be provided to surviving family members of the city's uniform services, there is no such provision for the members of the Department of Transportation's Bridges Division. This important piece of legislation would authorize the mayor to extend health insurance benefits to the surviving family members of deceased members of the Bridges Division to demonstrate the city's appreciation of these employees' dedicated service to our city. Intro number 895 will help ease the financial burden for the family of Mr. Staub. We will also be voting on two resolutions that were heard at this committee's hearing on April 12th. Resolution number 190, introduced by Council Member Torres, calls on the United States Supreme Court to protect public sector collective bargaining in Janus versus American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. Currently, public labor unions can automatically deduct a fee from the public employees that they represent, regardless of whether or not these employees are members of the union. This fee, also known as a fair share fee, covers the costs of representation for the labor union. The Janus case centers on the constitutionality of these fair share fees. If the Supreme Court rules in flavor of the plaintiff, Mark Janus, many predict that public sector unions' power to collectively bargain will be dramatically weakened across this nation. Resolution number 240, introduced by Council Member Miller, acknowledges workers' gains through the American labor movement. The resolution highlights important events throughout American history that lead to changes in workers' rights, benefits, wages, and conditions of employment, such as the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire and the Great Postal Strikes of 1970. The resolution also notes the American labor movement's top legislative accomplishments while including which include the Social Security Act, the National Labor Relations Act, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This resolution aptly highlights the many accomplishments that workers throughout America's history have made. It is always important to celebrate and highlight the great achievements that workers throughout American history have made in order to ensure that we as a nation encourage equal and just terms and conditions of employment, workers' benefits, rights, and compensation. I would like to thank my committee colleagues for being here today to vote on these important legislative items. I would also like to thank Stacey Yearwood, my communications and legislative coordinator, and committee staff Malcolm Butehorn, Kevin Katowski, and Kendall Stevenson. I now ask the clerk to call the vote on all three items. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on civil service and labor. All items are coupled. Council member Adams. Aye. Drum. Aye. King. I vote aye, and I'd like to ask the committee to add my name to these pieces of legislation and congratulations to my colleagues. Vote aye on all. Myzel. Yes. Ulrich. I vote aye on all. Uh, with the exception, I want to abstain on uh, Resolution 190. Uh, I don't think it's prudent for the council to. Uh, take a position on this prior to the Supreme Court ruling. We don't know which way they're going to go yet, so I'm just, as a matter of process, going to abstain on that, but I'm going to support wholeheartedly in Resolution 240 uh, along with the other uh, accompanying legislation. Um, I support collective bargaining rights. Um, I consider myself very pro-union, and um, I'd like to add my name to uh, Resolution uh, 240, and I want to wish a speedy recovery to our chair. Uh, Danique Miller is a great friend and a strong champion for workers' rights and, and working men and women in the city of New York. Thank you. 
Introduction 895 and Resolution 240 are adopted by the Committee 5 in the affirmative, 0 in the negative, and no abstentions. And Resolution 190 is adopted by the Committee 4 in the affirmative, 0 in the negative, and 1 abstention. Thank you. If there is no further business before this committee, we are adjourned.